the name. Fernando? I don't know. Just come up with a random one here. Hernan Bob. Like, cause Harry, yeah, because Harry is Peludo. Like, that means you're Harry. But, like, the actual name. Actually, first of all, who would actually name their own child? I would not. I wouldn't either. <laughs> that's, that's actually the real fact. Like, I, would, no, I wouldn't name my kid that. <laughs> yeah, no offense if there's a Harry in chat, but. Yeah. I think we've moved past that one. Yeah. We'll see what we can move past here. It's Chad versus Paper. Game and Watch versus College, you know? Of course, Gamer One still retains the weight of being also in that top five spot of one of the widest characters in the game. Yeah, fitting tag because Paper, not only Paper Thin, but Paper Weighted is this character. Yeah. He can fly off in an instant. Think about being Paper Weighted though, that upbeat, honestly, is a big part of like Gamer Watch. Right? You get, you, you feel the withdrawal anytime you get pressured. Enrique. Enrique, that's right. Oh, Harry's a variation of Henry. Enrique. Enrique Potter. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's, that's, this is this is a rack of that tangent we were on a few seconds ago. If you guys are catching up here, back throw not gonna be him, man. Enrique is gonna be. I'm oh, sorry, man. I can't let it go anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's just go hey back guys. to Jackson. Hey guys, uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, we're gonna do a commentator switch after this stuff. Oh, okay. for sure, for sure. This work catches him with a close range explosive flame, though. That'll pop him off the top. Okay, it goes for up B. Gets him with a fair though. I don't so I know Mexico obviously having say it's a big country there. I don't know what country or I'm sorry, what state Chad is from. I'm assuming he's from Mexico City, and I don't know if Maestro's from the same state. Um, so that's one thing to know if he's actually used to finding it. It's Maestro. It's a good one. I, yeah. It's not just Maestro as well, there's uh Reggie. Reggie Shikimi as well, but I think he actually dropped the character, so as soon as I Yeah, I, a player we have not heard of yet, playing game and watch it off. But that disjointed fair is going to take him. The Mexican boy who lived, not going to be living for much longer. Yep. Zero percent, gets the back air. Intangibility there too as well. Down tilt, you mentioned how it's great. Blasting hitbox, two frame. Forward tilt. Another move with pretty long lasting mm -hmm. hitbox, and that back air will send him flying towards the corner. Using the teleport, you get a disadvantage card pretty much. Special out of shield though, that's gonna be free real estate for the up air. God, I'm sticking that stupid knee. <laughs> Covering himself with a get up attack, but drop down back here, not gonna connect. Goes the up air, nice. Right, put the bomb in place. I feel like that's what he upgraded the credit card to, man. Mm -hmm. You can get rid of the disjoint just by attacking it during its startup, but... Mm -hmm. I do like the use of Post Smash, actually, because he was kind of accounting for the fact that maybe people are going to touch the platform, and that's going to be a tough trade. Paper still surviving with barely able to bucket the... Oh my god, that was just... That, that, that's obvious there, too, because, like, usually Game & Watch... When he's got bucket... And he's got a fully charged. The first thing he's going to want to do is land that on you, mm -hmm. no matter what. <laughs> and Chag was ready for it. Yeah, just paper with zero patience there, and Chag was immediately ready to just counter that right back. Sometimes we do see Game & Watch go for a grab and then confirm into it, but the problem was like he really wanted to get out of disadvantage, come back with such a strong hitbox, right. and then take care of it. I think Paper had to fight Vader to make it out here. Uh, and Winners. I was. I, I saw that mm -hmm. we did have two little mags play each other, which was Metal Riff and uh, Wes, and we did see Tempo come out as well. Paper rocking the default tag here as we begin game two. Already going to be hit by both the auto reticle and the explosive flame. Yeah. Oh, he's giving. He's not giving Paper an inch. As you should, it honestly, because if you do let Demon Watch slowly get his combos, they do build up percent. It's good also for Chad to kind of have this middle platform here in Smashville because he's able to stand right there and punish Paper accordingly. And he's punishing Paper for going for continued down air. Another opportunity Paper should have... If I were Paper, look, the adaptation you want to make here is just try to go for the ledge as safely as possible. 
Yeah, I know Chag loves this stage in particular because it gives him the maximum potential for some of his platform cancels. Mm -hmm. Look at the way he's just moving across the stage almost instantly. Platform cancels into being a smaller stage to use uh, explosive flame like like so. Down tilt, I like it. He's waiting to see how Paper's gonna react. Oh, you missed the ledge, but Palutena was facing the wrong direction. Rolled into the down smash. That was cute. I like that. He set up the up smash to it, kind of for the fact that like, Chad wanted to get out of the ledge. He might have like, a roll get up. Or he could be coming from out of the ledge play. Up smash, I mean, still some armor. Not as much armor as it did back in four. Mm -hmm. I think he was also accounting for if the berry hitbox came out, then he was just prepared. Setting up once again for the up smash. Great. That was so good because he knew Paper is so akin to up smash dodging or down tilt will have so much conditioning that he read the fact that he was going to come back and go for a back air with a cross up. The down throw to up air caught him mm -hmm. DI'ing in, but the down air is almost going to pop on off. You mentioned earlier, right, that comfortability with platform counts in front. Paper is going to say, you know what, if you're that far, I'll let Turner do the work. Speaking of long-lasting hitboxes, that back air from Game & Watch, actually, I believe it's like 13 or 14 frames or so. It's, mm -hmm. it's something stupid like that, but... Gets him back into the rapid jump. Wanted to go for the judgment. <laughs> when you're down two stocks, might as well. Yeah. You pray for you pray to base RNG Jesus and you hope for the best. Down to it. What's RNG Jesus to a goddess, though? Yeah, that is true. In Game & Watch, probably a non-believer. We'll see how he feels about it here. Okay. So much pressure from Paper, too. He's definitely looking for it. He's not even caring about it for percent. He just knows if I stop Chad from staying on the stage, he won't be firing too much for too long. But unfortunately, commitment to the down smash. Chad had no reason to go for that roll. He had no reason to go for the roll, and he was not going to let up there. And that's a classic case of conditioning. Just wanted him to get around perhaps a medium range explosive flame, and all of a sudden, he just rolled right into a no option. And that's going to do it. That's also going to do it for our commentary block. I've been yeah. Bronkopoulos alongside. It's been a pleasure.